Center for Action and Contemplation presents a homily by Father Richard Rohr. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel is written to us by Matthew. At that moment, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, and you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. And no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son then wishes to reveal him. So come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your soul. My yoke is easy, my burden is light. This is good news from the Lord. Brothers and sisters, it's indeed unfortunate if we hear a gospel like this and just shrug our shoulders and say, well, of course, this is revolutionary. This is not the way all of human history imaged God. Most of human history, if you read the history of religion, is people are terrified of God. They fear God. They need to offer their virgin daughter or their eldest son to placate and to please this always demanding, tyrannical God. No one loves God. No one even likes God. All you try to do is manipulate God to keep him off your back. But you and I grew up in the Christian era where we took passages like this for granted. Oh yeah, of course. I'm meek and humble of heart. Tell me something interesting. This is revolutionary. This is not the way most of humanity imaged God. Jesus changed everything. He turned it around. Now, who is prepared for this? And you got a hint of it in the first reading, especially from the prophet Zechariah, when it said he will come not mounted on a horse, but a little donkey. What? Now, again, you've grown up with that. So you take it for granted. He even comes into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday on a donkey to say, this is me. This is what I'm talking about. I'm a different kind of God than you expected. Maybe even than you wanted. We'd probably prefer a God on a horse who would make everything right. Who wants, I am meek and humble of heart. In me you will find rest for your soul. Come to me, all you who are labor, all you who labor and are burdened. Maybe, maybe this gospel only appeals to people who are labor, labor and are burdened. The rest of us maybe don't need God that much, or don't need a loving God, or worst of all, take God for granted. Now he gives us a clue at the beginning of who's going to get this. Most of us, it'll go right over our head and we'll go on with our day as usual as if this kind of loving God was not living at our very side and in our very soul. He says, you have hidden this from the wise and the learned. I often wonder why they send us off to seminaries to become wise and learned when it says they're not the ones who are going to get it. (laughs) I hope I don't embarrass you, Benjamin, but we have an African man here in church this morning who grew up in a little village in a thatch hut raising goats. He lived with the goats all of the first part of his life. Now, what this gospel is saying 
And again, I don't want to embarrass you, but you actually have a head start in understanding the gospel. You're not as sophisticated as us Americans who grow up with media and movies and all kind of things to entertain us, usually, frankly, to entertain us about nothing, nothing that matters, nothing of any consequence whatsoever. Someone said a few years ago, Americans are going to be entertained to death. It just makes us more and more superficial. But when you grow up with goats, and that's your whole life, (laughs) protecting your goats and watching the sun and the moon and the stars, you have time to ask deeper questions. The questions that matter. I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you will reveal them to the little ones. Let's pray. Each in our own way, we can be one of those little ones, so we'll be ready and eager to see the mystery. This homily by Father Richard Rohr is copyright by the Center for Action and Contemplation. Visit cec.org for other educational resources and programs.